Okay, unit 4.07, um, telling about age, how old. This is another like quick and dirty one that um, that's more of a reinforcement of stuff we've already done. So there's not that much new information in this one. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. The vocab is simply ages. This is the sign for month. So if you look, it's the back, the hands are back to back and you just slide your dominant hand down the back of the passive hand. Uh, I had it explained to me that it was like turning over like one of those daily calendars, month, 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 month. It's also a sign for rent because you pay it every month. Um, also, it's, it's a sign, a similar sign for temperature because here's the thermometer and the line goes up and down. So, but for one month, we've talked about the rule of nine where you can incorporate numbers. And then once you get past nine, 10 months. Now you can always go nine months, eight months. You can always separate them. If that's easier than trying to keep this in mind. But once you get a little bit more comfortable with the numbers, um, you'll put that in. Uh, year is this, right? So the dominant hand goes around the passive hand once, both fists, both S hand shapes. So that means year. And this means age or old. So if you do one year, age one year, age two years, age three years, that's the old fashioned time. That's the classic. Um, you can also do the rule of nine where you go one year, which is combining age and one. So you can do age one because we know that that generally means years, except for the months, which we keep month. But we can do one, two, three, four, five. So we don't even need the year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we get 10 years or age 10, age 10, age 11, age 12, age 13, age 14, age 15. I tend to, oh, I see most often 11, age 11, age 12, age 13, um, with a little bit of a repetition. Some people just go age 12. Um, I will recommend, and if someone picks on you, just tell them, I told you to go with that to start with until you feel more comfortable. Um, after 10, they have to be separate. So age 10, age 11, age 20, and on. So we've got one month, age one month. So we always start with age since we're setting up with the category. Or... So it's almost like we do in English with contractions, where you're putting them together. So you could do age one year or age one. All right. And here's a better explanation for it in the slideshow. So that rule of nine, for one to nine, it's three, four, five. So it starts from the chin and then comes out. Uh, ten, ten, age ten age 10, right? so the palm is to the side. 11 to 15, the palm is in towards yourself, right? 11, 15. Uh, 16, age, 16, so age, and then the book shows a, a, a variation, or the, the DVD, which I'm going to have on here, the video, shows a variation. Um, I think it's just easier right now to just go age 16, age 16. Um, too much movement gets can get muddy and then it can cause errors. I just think go with the simple age 16. So age 10, 6, as opposed to the 16, 
the little lathe or the Ohio 16. I haven't showed these. Um, I don't usually show them until after ASL 1 because I want you to get the numbers down in a classic sense. So 16. I just froze. 16. So age 16. Age 17. 18. 19. Um, for 20, 60, uh, to up to 66, palm out. Um, beyond that, we get into the rocking numbers that we've talked about a little bit, uh, 67, 78, 89, that kind of thing, and 98, 87, 76. Um, palm down, 22, 33, 44. So it's the same as the numbers, right? So it's just age and then the number. That's all you got to do. And then we just use months for anything under a year. We don't do like one year, 11 months. You can one year, age, one year, 11 months. If you're going to do that, though, you're going to say year and month. You wouldn't want to do one, 11 months, because that's like mixing a metaphor. Don't want to do that. So here is all the stuff I just said in the video, and you can watch it over and over again. One to nine, or one to five, six to nine, ten. And she's doing ten, ten, ten. This is just a shortened version of this. It just doesn't change the hand shape as much. Uh, it's how language evolve. So we got ten years old, um, eleven to fifteen. All they're doing is they're starting the number up here. But again, I think age is a better way to start, um, a lot less to memorize. And it's just as clear. It's just a sort of more old-fashioned way of doing it. 16 to 19, and the variation. So again, what I'm emphasizing is learn the age, the, the, the baseline, and don't worry so much about the variations. You'll, you'll recognize them in context. And then under a year old, um, oh, we don't need this anymore because we eliminate it. Okay. So now these videos are going to be applying ages. One is some new, vo some vocab of who are they talking about and what age. Okay. So whose age are they talking about? Um, this seems kind of small. If you want to watch, I put the video full size on the next slide. And then I put answers after that. So you've got a sense of what the questions are. You've got the video. The next slide's a larger video. And then the next slide's the answers. So if you want, just jot them down. Um, I don't think you can edit the actual video. Normally, this would be like a handout or a digital file. But I put them all in the PowerPoint since I can't meet with you live. So boom, boom, boom. We're going to go through these. Um, bottom line is that any kind of practice would be, how old are you? We normally do it twice, like age, age you, or a little wiggle. We wouldn't say how, because it's not a how thing. We're asking really, how many years do you have? Right? And then three months. 100 years old. <laughs> We've gotten hundreds yet. And then some practice sentences for you to work on. All right. So little things, again, a little bit of uh, vocabulary thrown in. And then I included the, the basic example that the book um, suggests for how to sign them. Remember, IX means to point. So you set up something. Um, so number 11. You know what? Let me do... I changed... Changed husband to spouse to be more accommodating, and then I forgot to change it there. <laughs> okay.
So that's I met my spouse when they and I'm pointing at them. So when they were 17. Okay. And then again, we repeat the vocabulary and then all the videos from this unit. So as I say, four seven is just ages and then applying them. So just watch those videos and imitate them.